Welcome back. I hope you are doing great. As a part of our conceptual class, we understood that Hive doesn't store the data. Hive stores the data in HDFS and it defaults to user Hive warehouse. This is where it stores the data. Now, what we will do is, what are the tables we have created so far? How the data is being stored in HDFS? Let's get started. Through my console, I have launched the two secure shells, one for looking at the data within HDFS, and the second one is for the hive. So I have logged into Beeline command line. As we discussed in the previous class, we'll be using only the Beeline command line. Let us look at what are the databases we have created within Hive. See, I'll say show databases. We have three of them. One is default. Whether you create it or not, there'll be already default database. and the next one is HiveDB. The third one is BlissPass Academy. These are the three databases which are there as a part of the Hive in this instance. How this is represented in HDFS? Let us see that. For each of the database what you create, there will be folder within the Hive warehouse directory. First, let us locate that. It's DFS, DFS, hyphen, ELS, fast slash. If you see within this, we have different folders like user, temp, bliss mass, big data, HDFS. Within this, we need to get into user. Within user, we have hive. We have different folder, but our interest as of now is in hive. As we already discussed, within Hive, we have a warehouse directory. This is where all our data is stored. Now, if you notice, there are three folders within warehouse directory as we have three databases listed when we execute a command show databases. So, each of the database what we create, there'll be one folder created within the high warehouse directory. This is a folder, hive db.db is a folder. We can get into that. Let's say hive.db. We got to provide the name properly. Oh, if you notice within hive db.db folder, we have two things listed. One is customers and orders. Are they folders? Are they files? Both of them are folders. What it means is for each of the database, there'll be folder created. And also when we create a table within the database, there'll be folders created for that as well. Let us go ahead and look at in Hive. So let us say use Hive DB. Say show tables. You can see customers and orders. Those two folders are there as a part of the Hive DB folder. Remember, I'm working here in a Linux terminal. Within that, I'm prefixing HDFS DFS commands to look at the how the data is stored in HDFS. The moment we prefix HDFS DFS, I'm working in HDFS. So all these things are, this user high warehouse directory is there in within HDFS. How the data is stored. For example, now we have customers. We say select star from customers. 
we have already inserted the data how would the data whatever we have inserted would look like this is the data what we have inserted now this data this is what is there when we say select star from customers this is a hive terminal we can see data in a table format but as we already understood even though we are seeing this data in a table format in hdfa this is stored as a file so let us get into the customers directory and see that i'll get into customers folder as i said for a table there will be one directory created now customers is a table you can see there are three files here and if you go and look at what is there in the file let us look at one of the file it includes 1234 arun k this is one of the record we inserted for the first time isn't it that record is stored as a one file so what it means is whenever you insert a record one file is created for that means the for the second time you inserted some four records those four records should be returned to the next file let us say equal to copy score one you can see actually in fact those three records we have written three records look at what is there as a part of the copy two we can have almost six records we inserted for the third time right whatever the records we inserted after creating the hive table those records would be stored as a files within hdfs the way it is stored there will be a folder created for the database and there will be a folder created for the table within the table the record should be stored as a files these files are exposed to us as the table ideally hive doesn't store the data these files are exposed to us as a table in hive wonderful what we will do is we will create one database now and create one table and see how it behaves now we have show databases right there are three databases let's go ahead and create one more database say test db okay this is created if you go and execute the command show databases we have test db ideally what would happen there should be folder created for this in hdfs let's go ahead and execute the hdfs command that is within the warehouse directory you can see test db is created here within the test db we'll create one table and see how it behaves we'll say use test db i want to show you how the file storage happens when we create a database create a table within the database and insert the data into that how that reflects in hdfs i am showing that with an example earlier i showed you that with already created database and already created table but now i'm creating a database and creating a table and showing that in hdfs so that you understand it better do we have any tables here show tables no tables at all we'll create one table we'll reuse the same code whatever we have done earlier i'll say customers one okay i'll go ahead and create this table within test db done if you go and say show tables we'll have customer shown now let us look at how it is reflecting in hdfs folder 
we have test db dot db you can see one folder created within test db db do we have a data in this now we will not have data because we are not inserted any data here no data let us go ahead and insert a couple of rows and see how it is reflecting in hdfs i will go ahead and say this customers one it's done now if you go in and see select star from customers one you'll have one record in this you can see there is a one record here we have inserted one record and let us see how it is reflecting in hdfs if you go and execute the same command now you'll have one file within that you can see one file is there right so if you go and look at the contents of this file excellent you can see the data what we inserted into a table we created as a part of the hive that is getting stored within a user hive warehouse directory within that there will be folder created for the database within that there will be folder created for the table within that whatever the data we insert that will be stored as a file i hope you got it please do create couple of databases create tables within that and go ahead and see how it is reflecting in hgfs wonderful thank you very much mm -hmm.